Hello everybody. Today I want to show you super speed pads. Those are pads that would reset in three game ticks. As you can see here, it has a very fast reset time. And yeah, first I want to start uh, showing you the development leading up to this super speed pad because it's not yeah very trivial to make it. And I hope this helps uh, understanding what's going on. So here's the very basic pad. It would reset in six game ticks and it would power a uh, second piston after three game ticks. So very basic stuff, and here you can see I give uh, two block updates um, with six game ticks delay. So it turns on, giving an update, and after six game ticks it turns off. So then you get two pulses. Okay, so this would be the next step if we want to activate something instantly as uh, soon as I yeah, get an update. So this line block moves out of the way or turns into block 36 and then uh, this redstone line can go up powering this piston. The disadvantage of the system is that it takes 6 game ticks before the slime block is back into the default position and uh, only then the piston would retract again. So this piston would reset in 9 game ticks. Um, yeah, that's where this system uh, gets important. So if you want a system that activates a piston immediately and resets in 6 game ticks. Um, this is the so-called zero tick but it was made by Senkon. Um, yeah, let's see it. So, as you can see it resets quite fast and this is only powered for 3 game ticks because this block here is sent over immediately into this position and then sent back so it arrives uh, after 3 game ticks after it's sent uh, away from its default position and you get can achieve that by giving this piston a zero tick pulse so you need to remove the power source immediately and also give a second update to the piston so he knows that it is no longer powered and yeah Senkon did this by powering uh, also immediately powering a third piston that will remove the power source and that piston would retract, giving an update to this piston so it knows it's no longer powered. And then the block is sent over immediately, and then also the piston is powered here, sending the block back, and then it arrives after three game ticks here. But this system is also powered for three game ticks and also needs to retract. So the whole system resets in six game ticks. So as you can see here, uh, again, two, two block updates um, with a delay for six game ticks in between. And here we have a zero tick pulse generator that, yeah, as you can see, get two zero tick pulses, uh, six game ticks apart from each other. And yeah, couldn't handle, for example, a four game tick uh, delay between pulses. So as you can see here, only get a single pulse because this block um, it would arrive back in the default position after six game ticks. And yeah, that's the final step. So that's the fastest possible, but. Um, it could handle um, a block update every three game ticks. So now that's four game ticks. As you can see here, the piston would be activated twice. And yeah, that's not a trick or something. So if I do eight, then you can see it really reacts to the block updates. Um, over here, also added a clock. So now it's four game ticks. You can make it slower, faster again. And over here I also made a clock that would give a block update every three game ticks. So let's just take a look at that. So yeah, if we would add another piston here. See it would be activated as fast as possible. You can't make it faster than three game ticks. Okay, I also made a second version. Um, the advantage of this version is that um, yeah, you have an up, up, upwards facing piston. So you can activate it from below, and yeah, it's just uh, another version where you couldn't use this one, for example. Okay, uh, as a last step, I'll show you how to build it. So let's start with this one. So you need three sticky pistons like this, and then also on the other side, a few. So here you need a normal piston and another stick piston. Then let's add a block and some redstone dust, then you need a comparator and a hopper 
and you need to put in two stacks and a quarter stack into the hopper and the same next to it so also two stacks and a quarter stack then you to go up here and yeah, power this piston of this redstone line Then you also need to add redstone dust here, and I need a slab like this, and another block. And need one more piston to give an update, and yeah, add the redstone. So this is enough. So this uh, isn't powered. That's why we need the uh, single strength here. And one last step. Also need some redstone dust here. Sending black back to a redstone block. You need this block here so the lines don't connect. And some redstone dust. And then you can add the redstone block. The butt powers the piston. As you can see, it works. So now let's also build the other one, the upwards facing piston. It's a little bit more complicated. So we need a piston facing this direction and another one facing that direction and another one on top. Then we again need a power source below and some blocks like this. Then we need to send back this iron block. And we have a repeater facing into this, so if this block arrives here, it will be powered and sent back immediately. Then we also need to send back this redstone block. So I need a normal piston here, like this. And yeah, I need a slab here. And here needs some block event delay. Um, could do it like this and down and giving the final update. Now add some redstone dust and you also need a rail to give them one more update. Okay, then we're done. We can add the Redstone block, and you can see yeah, it works. Uh, maybe we can go quickly through it and try to explain it. So this piston is but powered. Um, and it give the update. The piston had extracts, also giving an update to this piston here. Um, this would power the piston with the redstone block in front, and yeah. Um, yeah, we power. It, we give it the serotic pulse, so the redstone block is sent over immediately. And by updating this piston, this piston is also updated, so it knows that it's no longer powered. So this block is sent over immediately. And this position, yeah, it's powered and sent back immediately. Same principle. And over here, um, we need some block uh, event delay. And we also need to update this piston one more final time because it didn't get updated yet. So, the only so if we, if we give it an update, it knows that it's powered, but we remove the power source. And uh, if we don't give it an update, it doesn't know that it is no longer powered. So, when this redstone block is in this position, um, we power those rails so this piston knows that it's no longer powered, and then it goes back down again. Because if we wouldn't do that, it would be extended all the time. and yeah, let's just show you what, what will happen, so it doesn't go down again, only if you add the rails. Okay, um, hope this was useful for you. Um, I used those systems quite a lot recently. In the next video, I'm going to show you where I use this. Have a good day, and goodbye.